to us this year is access to education version of Canva, which is basically the exact same thing as Canva Pro. So uh, what I wanted to make sure to show you is the great template features that they have. So I've just gone to Canva.com and I've signed in with my Beaverton email. And when I'm there, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the templates up at the top corner. And you've got a whole, a whole bunch of different options for education. But I want us to take a quick close look at Classroom Decor Kits. So what they've done is they've gone ahead and created a whole bunch of classroom kits um, that are geared around a specific theme. So we have been using the bright and sunny theme for the elementary canvas shell. Now, once we're in this theme, you can see that you've got various templates. So um, I wish that they had these labeled a little bit better. If I could give them a tip or a trick, I would. Um, and that is to like label what the heck these are. And my um, deal with trying to figure out what that is, is that when I hover over it, you'll see here in the bottom corner that it tells me um, in the like actual web address that this is a tote or tray label. Um, if I go down here, then it's a sunny page border. If I go over to this one, it shows me that it is a student label. So you've got different ones um, that are gonna have different shapes and sizes. This is a folder label. This is a classroom announcement for Seesaw. Um, this one is a banner that you can use, like I showed in a previous video, you can use these banners for, for the tops of uh, Canvas pages, for example. Uh, this is a featured poster, student feature poster. You've got a uh, Google Classroom header. You've got a classroom door poster. You've got uh, an agenda classroom display. You've got a Microsoft Teams background, a daily agenda slide, a class rule template, a virtual classroom template with all sorts of design elements. You have a bunting, so if I pull down a little bit, you have a bunting option here, and you also have a meet the teacher graphic. So that's just in this one. Some of them have more options uh, than, than even this one shows. So um, if I just go up here to these um, already pre-made like thematic uh, gray, gray navigation buttons, I guess they would be called, um, you can just scroll through all the ones that they have. Uh, which is quite great. There's some that are better than others, in my opinion, but you know, go with what you like. Um, pretty great. Let's go back into templates and let's just go ahead and see what other. Okay, so here's your classroom decor kit still here. So, um, okay, so I am in just templates, I think, in general. And then they've got subject oriented templates. Awesome, I'm exploring with you right now. Hopefully this video won't be too long, but uh, those classroom decor kits again, love these. I think these are fantastic. Um, and then, you know, it's my own thing, so it knows what I've been using. So it's giving me some tips and tricks on some things that I might like based on what I've used so far. So just know that this, I used to personally pay for Canva, Canva. that's how much I liked it. I paid for the pro version and as far as I can tell, with my pretty extensive use of it, um, the educators version that we are now currently using is just as good if not better than the pro version that I used to be paying for and we're getting it for free, which is amazing. Like I don't even know how that's happening. So. Please know that you do not have to be a graphic designer. You have access to Canva, quote unquote, pro version, and you can use it. And it makes things so much easier, especially if you're designing and working on things in Canvas. So almost everything that you've seen in your elementary shell, we built using Canva and that classroom uh, decor kit, Bright and Sunny. So uh, let us know if you have any questions on uh, as you're kind of exploring Canva for the first time. We are very excited that we now have this uh, service. All right, thanks.